So our third pillar of bringing people alive, of human flourishing, is relationships. So relationships really, really, really matter. In fact, they're the number one predictor of our happiness, relationships. However, despite the social media friends that we have, like the hundreds of connections that we hold, 40% of people today in America report feeling lonely. 40%. 25% of Americans report having zero confidants. 25% of people have no one to turn to when they want to share good news or bad. Not only does loneliness suck and not feel great, it actually can increase our chances of premature death. In addition to that, I mean, which is kind of the worst case scenario, right? But in addition to that, chronic loneliness also affects our decision making. Because if we're coming from a place of feeling lonely, like, oh, I'm not, I'm not loved, I'm not worthy, what kind of decisions are we going to make in our lives, right? We might choose partners, we might choose foods, we might make decisions that don't really act in our best interest because we're feeling isolated. But here's the thing about loneliness. It's normal. It's normal. The problem with loneliness in America today is we've made it into some kind of bad thing. But all it is is a signal that we need to reach out and get some social nurturance. John Cassiopo, really awesome researcher, has a book called Loneliness where you can learn uh, a ton. And also I'll be sharing more research with you in my class um, if you guys decide to join. But one reason why we're feeling more loneliness than ever before is because we're doing so much connecting online, which while yes, that is connecting, it's also something called social snacking. Sociologists call it social snacking, where you get a little bit of bite, a little bit of taste of real connection, but it's not the full meal. It doesn't give you what you really need. And we know from research that our relationships and experiencing true connection, it's literally like nutrients for our body and our brain, like sunlight, like air, like water, we need other people. And a lot of that sustenance we get when we're in person. So my question to you guys is, what are you feeding your people? Are you continuing to serve them snacks and making it feel like they're going to get the full meal? Or can you offer them an opportunity to get a bite of something really yummy and delicious? How can you help people really be seen So the fourth pillar of